This is episode five of our growth mindset video series, where I teach parents all about the growth mindset and give you the tools and process to create a growth mindset culture in your house. Now in the last video, I talked all about neuroplasticity and how understanding that the brain can be shaped and grown over time can be really, really important in our kids' success. Now the question is, how do you teach your children all about neuroplasticity? Now in one of my future videos, I'm gonna teach you all about programs and journals uh, and animation series that, that uh, you can use to help teach your children. But today, we're gonna, do, we're gonna go low tech. We're gonna use a very cool book. Uh, that Khadija really loves and you can see I'm joined by my lovely daughter here Khadija and we're going to give you a book review of your fantastic elastic brain stretch it shape it by Dr. Deek. So here's the book your fantastic elastic brain stretch it shape it so you can see it's an easy book to read and there's lots of great pictures. So Khadija what's your favorite part about the book? My favorite part is that there is different parts of the brain, like here. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs, like cerebrum, hippocampus, cere cerebellum, amygdala. And what's this one? Prefrontal cortex. Excellent. PFC okay. for short. PFC for short, okay. So you can see there's a lots of great pictures here. Okay. Here's another one of my favorites. Um, it says, you can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. If you are frightened about taking a risk, like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you that you overcome your fear. So, you will be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water. And you can see that he's at first a little scared, but then your amygdala reminds you that you've overcome that fear so you can jump in the water again. When you learn something new, you're building on what you have alre already learned. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together when you're learning something new. And here, there are the different parts of your brains that help you do piano, like the amygdala makes you want to learn the, to play the piano. The cerebrum helps you decide to practice. The cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscle in your wrists, hands, and fingers so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together and you will play the song more easily. Uh, as you can tell, Khadija really learned a lot of new things from the book. She really enjoyed it. It's very easy to read. So the book reminds kids as your body grows stronger, your brain grows and you learn new things. And it reminds them that even though things are hard at first, the more you practice, the more you get better. And that even when you make a mistake, you're still training the brain. And you remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. So this was our book review of the fantastic elastic brain. And as you can see, Khadija learned a lot about her brain. We thought it was a great picture book for younger kids. So if you're interested in buying this book, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to amazon.com. So, was this book review helpful for you? If so, please do me a favor and leave a comment below so I know to make more book reviews like this. Next week's video is also going to be a book review where I, where I review a book that teaches kids brain teasers and riddles.